everyone knows lions as kings of the jungle. As a top predator, they are powerful, noble and protective of their own. Kenya in particular has adopted these values by recognizing lions as the national symbol. Lions have a special place in our national psyche. A pair of lions supports the shield on the coat of arms and they're celebrated on the national currency and on countless company logos. Lions are not just symbolic. They're central to Kenya's international image and they're the number one tourist attraction to the country. But these extraordinary animals are in trouble. The Kenya Wildlife Service estimates that fewer than 2,000 remain in Kenya today. That's down from 35,000 only 50 years ago. KWS says that 100 lions are killed each year, and at this rate, in 20 years, Kenya will not have a single wild lion left. But why is Africa's greatest predator dying? Lions are simply no match for people. Lions and cattle herders have had an uneasy coexistence on Africa's grasslands for thousands of years. From time to time, lions do kill livestock, and to protect their animals, the herders retaliate. It used to be with spears, but now it's something far more potent. Harmless looking purple grains sold in stores all over Kenya in an innocuous bottle for less than $2. Carbofuran sold as furidan, is a pesticide developed in the US for controlling root and leaf eating bugs. But it also happens to be an extremely powerful neurotoxin. It paralyzes anything that eats it, from the tiniest insect to a seven ton hippo. Using it is as simple as it is cheap. A handful sprinkled on the carcass of a cow that lions killed earlier is capable of wiping out an entire pride, as well as any other scavengers that happen to join the deadly feast. It's tasteless and odorless, a perfect lethal solution. That's why it's so popular among the herders trying to get rid of a predator that threatens their livelihood. It only takes a quarter teaspoon to kill an adult lion. Less will paralyze the animal for days. It will either die of starvation or be killed by other predators. At least 76 lions have been confirmed killed with carbofuran. Nobody knows how many more have died unrecorded. Though it's an offence to misuse poisons, nobody has ever been arrested for the crime of killing lions with carbofuran in Kenya. In the US, where the pesticide was developed, the label is clear, it's a deadly poison. In Kenya, the label simply says, harmful. Now, the American Environmental Protection Agency says that carbofuran is simply too dangerous for users, consumers and the environment. It's banned the pesticide entirely. From the end of this year, anybody caught using carbofuran or distributing any product containing its residues can be prosecuted. This means that any imported crops will face the same penalties. It could be disastrous for Kenyan farm exports such as coffee and vegetables sold in the US. From numerous field blogs written on Wildlife Direct, we observed a deadly pattern of carbofuran effects in Kenya. It's not just lions that are affected. Farmers are using it on rice fields and kill millions of birds. Fishermen are using it in our lakes, and the residues from farms kill bees and many other vital insects. I spoke to the heartbroken father of a three-year-old child who died after eating a few granules of furidan just one week ago. He said it's probably affecting the health of thousands of Kenyan farmers who simply do not understand how lethal it is. Wildlife Direct is now calling for the complete ban on carbofuran in Kenya and East Africa, where the product is widely misused and clearly threatens much more than just lions. Banning carbofuran in Kenya won't solve the conflict between pastoralists and lions, but it is such a powerful poison that we believe that it alone is capable of wiping out the country's lions. You can help us. Share the story widely with your friends through Facebook, Twitter, your blogs and any other networks. Make a donation on wildlifedirect.org or support one of our lion projects by becoming an online eco-volunteer. Please join us. <laughs>